Greetings, Saberites. None of us here. <clears throat> Wanted to do a little bit of a review on um, the Red Dragon Hema gloves uh, that we have been using recently. Um, now, as you know, we're big fans of protective gear and all of that kind of thing. And I did a little bit of a video earlier kind of doing a little overview of this kind of stuff. Um, one of our knights did the one on kendo armor and the limitations of that, even though it is suitable. Um, so we'll go over this. Anyway, um, so the Red Dragon Gloves, um, I believe they're from England. You can get them at Purple Heart Armory. I'll link into the uh, description. Um, and they're, they're kind of modeled after, well, very modeled after um, the cross gloves. Um, there's a couple of big differences. Um, number one, this knuckle protection on the hard knuckle protection on the outside of the knuckles here um, is much more robust. Um, it also has, um, if you can see this, um, overlapping sections which protect the fingers from the gaps and all of that kind of thing. It also kind of protects the fingertips a little bit as you close your, your fist. Um, it, uh, so it fits and feels very much like a lacrosse glove. That's, that, that's no problem. Um, the one thing that we have been finding is the limitation is because of the armor here, being able to close your hand all the way, even when your hands are like this, your fingers are not quite touching. So you always kind of got a... So the other thing that's a little different is this thing is really big. Um, this, this, this thing, which is on lacrosse gloves, but usually in lacrosse gloves, it's much more there to just cover the, the, the wrist joint. Um, so one of the things I did with them <clears throat> is cut that off. And um, that actually gives you a pretty good glove with uh, good wrist protection, even though it's a, little, it's a little softer in there. With the poly blade, we don't have to worry about anything kind of getting in the, in the way there. Um, to contrast, I actually find uh, these lacrosse gloves by Under Armour much better. Um, they still have the gaps here, but that, again, doesn't bother the, um, us with sabering because the, the, the blade won't get in between there. It does have side padding here and has a lot more robust thing here, and I have found that it protects about as well with the sabers as does the Red Dragon, and it's a, it's much much less expensive. I think these were ran about 45, 50 bucks, whereas the uh, Red Dragons can be 80 to 100, depending on where you get them. Um, again, I'll link all of these in, in the description. Um, so that's what I've been finding. They are very similar to this. The, the, I've found that there's just, it just feels a little bit lighter, a little bit quicker. Um, with these on there. Not that any of this stuff is bad. Um, and as you can see here, this is that uh, cover that it's definitely not in the way as it is in the uh, Red Dragon gloves. So, there we go. So a little review of the Red Dragon gloves. Uh, if you're um, into this kind of stuff um, and, you, and you, I mean, they definitely look really cool. They protect you really, really well. They'll definitely be uh, TPLA legal when we start having um, the uh, tournaments. There you go. Just a quick little review. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Happy savoring.